Hello, Pendale, and welcome to today's live TV Valentine's Day special. I'm Henry Strobel. And I'm Anissa Gardizi. Throughout the show, we will be sharing our favorite Valentine's Day puns that you can use if you're not sure what to say to your special someone. I'll start off with this highlighter. You're the highlight of my day. More ideas will be shared later, but first, Henry has his story on the Enact Club. Last Friday, members of the Enact Club headed to Philadelphia to take a tour of the Waste Management's recycling facility. Students learned how Pendale's recyclables are sorted and remade into new products. This facility is a single stream plant, which means it takes in plastics, metals, and paper all mixed together. Nowadays, more and more products you buy are made of recycled materials. If you're wearing polyester, there's a good chance it was made from recycled soda bottles. And most newsprint and magazines are made from recycled paper. Who knew recycling could be so fun? Thank you, Mr. Collier and the Enact Club. Let's go to our sister station, North Penn TV, and see what's going on at North Penn. The world famous Harlem Wizards trick basketball team went head to head with North Penn's dream team for the second year in a row. The dream team, comprised of teachers and administrators from across the district, enjoyed playing against the Wizards, even if they proved to be a challenging opponent. Well, it's just great being out here again tonight, playing in this Harlem Wizards game. It's just such an awesome experience. We just enjoy putting on a good show for all the people who are coming out tonight to support this very worthy cause. I'm very appreciative of all the volunteers behind the scenes, and of course our awesome dream team. It's such a pleasure to play with all this talent, especially when I don't have the talent, but they do. And I just enjoy the guys that come from the Harlem Wizards because they have such a good uh, sense of humor and a great personality. It makes it so much fun to be able to play and to do all this for our fans. Kids and parents alike had an exciting night with memorable interactions with the team and entertaining antics performed by the Wizards. The Harlem Wizards played a game with me and I got a free t-shirt and I got to shoot a basket in the middle of the game. I'm having a lot of fun with my friends. Go Harlem Wizards! Go Harlem Wizards! Once again, the event was a successful fundraiser for North Penn High School Girls Athletics. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Alexa Duffy. Orange, you glad you're mine? <laughs> Let's take a break from these really, really bad puns and visit Sarah with a special guest. Thanks. Here with me today is Mr. Rausher, the Eng ninth grade English teacher here at Pendale. So why did you choose English as your major? Well, um, I've always loved books. Um, I, I enjoy reading and also to be a teacher. I thought I could share my passion with other people and, you know, engage with other people about ideas and, and literature. What's your favorite part about teaching English? Um, my favorite part is probably the fact that I can, we can span such a great um, variety of topics, um, get people talking about thoughts, ideas, um, their feelings, and uh, explore a lot of different minds that have written across the world, and it's been um, a lot of fun to talk to kids about how they see that. What's your favorite genre of literature? Hmm, favorite mm -hmm. genre. Well, I say fiction, but um, when I can, I try to read nonfiction, biographies and stuff. Read any good books lately? Um, yeah, I have. Uh, Kurt Vonnegut's um, book, what's it called? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I'll have to get back to you. It was, it was good. Uh, it's just my mind's blank right now, but it was a Kurt Vonnegut book. Have you taught any other schools? Yeah, um, this is my third year at Pendale. Um, I taught for five years at the high school. Um, before that, I taught at a, um, like a court adjudicated um, 
school for a summer. Um, but that's it. Yeah, it's my eighth year in, uh, in the district. Last question. How do you like to spend your free time? My free time? Um, you mean besides grading papers? Um, well, I like to go hiking when it's nice out, camping. Um, I like to jog, anything outdoors, really. Well, thanks for giving me your time. I'm Sarah Ahmad, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sarah. The Leo Service Club is an official charter of the Lansdale Lions Club, which is the adult service club of our community. They serve at Manor on Main Street to help the hungry in our town. They also have other service activities planned, such as the Philadelphia Gift of Life House, where they will bake desserts for residents who are awaiting life-saving transplants, a trip to Elm Terrace, where they engage with the elderly, and a clothing drive here at Pendale. It will take place later in the spring, and the clothes will be donated to Cradles to Crayons. Thank you, Leah's Service Club members. Jake has his report on the ninth grade girls basketball team. Thank you. Right now I'm joined by Mr. Evans, who is the ninth grade girls basketball coach. So coach, tremendous win out there. How does it feel to get the win? Feels great to win against our toss crosstown rival, Penbrook. What's your record now? We are seven and two. Uh, we have our last game tomorrow night at Penn Field. Uh, if anybody wants to come on over, check out a good game against uh, another rival school. Awesome. Do you have any standout stars so far this season? Yeah, we have a couple. Uh, Sam Tosana has done a really great job for us this year. Uh, so has Maddie. Uh, they've really done a good job uh, holding on to the rock. And uh, Nikki's been really good down, down below on the blocks for us. Awesome. So I hear you, you teach at the high school. What grade do you teach? I teach 10th grade world cultures. Well, thank you for joining me and good game out there. All right, thank you. Right now, I'm joined by Sam Tusana, Maddie Chudnak, and Bridget Mallon, who are all members of the ninth grade girls basketball team. So Sam, are you happy with the way you played out there today? I thought I did pretty good because I got five threes, and <laughs> I put a lot of effort out on the court. Awesome, you certainly did. Maddie, are you happy with the way your team played today? Yeah, we did. We were losing in the first half, and in the second half, we came back and won against Pembroke, which we lost against last time. Awesome. Bridget, are you happy with the way your team has played so far this season? Yeah, we are 7-2. and two. Anytime we play, we leave all of our effort down, out on the court. Well, you certainly did today. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm Jake Lobrack. Back to you. You know what's great about Dan Haynes? He rocks. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see the high school play Harris Bright. <laughs> Dan Haynes has a play update. Thank you. Joining me today is Mrs. Sell, who is a ninth grade English teacher here at Pendale, who is going to talk about the musical. So, what is the musical at Pendale this year? This year, the show is Hairspray. Okay. And when do tickets go on sale? Tickets are going on sale um, starting February 17th, actually. Wow, that's not that far away. And um, how can the tickets be purchased, and how much do they cost? If you want to, you can go through the main office. Uh, Mrs. Hartzell is the person to go see. She has a ticket order form, and uh, you fill that out, and then a little bit later, you receive your tickets because we do reserve seating for the musical. Uh, if you want a good seat, make sure you get to her early so that you can get down front and right close to the action. And when is opening night? Opening night is uh, Thursday, March 5th. Show starts at 7 o'clock. Make sure that you're there enjoying curtain. And what can you say about how the rehearsals are going so far? Rehearsals are going really well. We're getting everyone together. Tech's starting up next week. Uh, we have a wonderful cast, crew. Pitt has been rehearsing since December. And uh, everyone's coming together as an awesome team. Wow, that sounds awesome. And um, can you name some of the leads? Oh, definitely. Um, but it, the play is set in the 1960s in um, Baltimore. Um, we have uh, Tracy Turnblad. We have uh, Emma Moyer. Uh, we have Link is being played by Bobby Bear. We also have uh, Edna is not John Travolta. Uh, we have Rachel Weiner for that. And uh, just a, a variety of uh, grade levels uh, coming together. Lots of music going on. 
Awesome. That sounds like great people. And finally, what is your favorite musical and why? I'm going to have to say Anything Goes. It was the last musical I uh, co-directed, and uh, it was on our team with Miss Smith, Mrs. Shea, Mr. Heller. Um, and it was a good time coming together with a little Conrad Birdie action, but Harry Spray is right up there with our musical caliber. Uh, wow, that sounds awesome. That's all the time we have for today, and back to you in the studio. Take your date to the dodgeball tournament because you rule. It's that time of year again. Sign-ups for this year's dodgeball tournament will begin on Thursday, February 19th at 7.50 a.m. in the big gym. All teams signing up must have a completed blue form and the $40 entrance fee. Those students not playing but would like to watch the fun can buy tickets that will be sold during PE classes starting the week of the tournament for $2. Tickets will not be sold at the door, so please remember to buy your tickets during your PE class. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, Vegas Mona. Valentine's Day. This is Vegas Fona wishing everybody a happy Valentine's Day. But the reason I'm here is that Hollywood has the Oscars and Hollywood has the Grammys and Vegas was thinking. And when Vegas thinks, we all know great ideas appear. So welcome to the first annual The Vonas. And first I'm going to give the actress award to I was thinking, because Grant, I've watched a lot of movies. The uh, Vona goes to Tara Reid and Sharknado 2. Unfortunately, Tara can't be here to accept this award, so Vegas will take it for her. Secondly, I, again, have watched a lot of movies. And there's been a lot of good actors out there, a lot of good actors. But I have to give it to my boy, Sylvester Stallone in Expendables 3. Can't wait till Expendables 4 comes out because I will definitely be there and he'll probably win again. Again, Sly can't be here, so I will accept the award on his behalf. And again, now we're to the big one, the big one, the movie of the year. The movie of the year. Again, I have some good movies. I have seen some great movies. Yeah, there, there's been I, Frankenstein, and the railmen, but here we go, Pandale. I'm a little nervous even reading this. The movie of the year, and the Vona goes to Dumb and Dumber 2. Again, these guys can't be here, so I will accept the word on their behalf. Remember, Pendale, happy Valentine's Day. Vegas Vona out. See you later. Things are getting here again. Happy Valentine's Day. This week's Twitter question could make or break some hearts. Channing Tatum is asking a very personal question. your dream valentine. Hi, Miss Melbourne. Dave Franco. Zach Efron. Miss Mishner. Mrs. Lana Wett. Oh, Mr. Heller. Jack Linsky and Frank Yanni. Andres. Marissa. Corbin Blue. Elena Deladon. Mrs. Robbins. Channing Tatum. Jimmy Fee. <laughs> Cookie Monster. Kate Upton. Myself. Sean Mendez. Cameron Dallas. Cameron Dallas. Sam Smith. My cat. Channing Tatum. Sean Mendez, Otswell, Nikon. Troy Savon. Niall Horan. Nick Jonas. Zach Efron. Austin Mahone. My television. My husband, of course, Mr. Clank. Tatum. I look Chloe Bolton Hoggy. Channing Tatum. <laughs> Nick Jonas. Kim Kardashian. 
My favorite Valentine is Niall Horn, Zayn Malik, Louis Tomlinson, and Liam Payne and Harry Styles. My husband's first, but then obviously Mr. Heller. <laughs> I go bananas for you. <laughs> if anyone has plans for Valentine's Day, I'm sure you've been waiting for Paul Callender and the weather forecast. Hello, Pendale. I am in the romantic capital of the world, aka Venice, Italy. So while you guys are freezing your butts off over there, I'm in Venice and it's really warm. So, and it seems like I'm forgetting something, but oh well. So the weather for today is a high of 44 degrees with a low of 25 degrees, and it is partly cloudy. So Thursday's weather is snowy with a high of 36 and a low of 14 degrees. Friday's weather is sunny with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 21 degrees. Saturday's weather is a high of 50 degrees and a low of 19 degrees, and it should be raining. And Sunday's weather is a high of 25 degrees and a low of 9 degrees and it should be snowing, hopefully. So, as you see, I'm on the lifeboat. And so, thanks guys, back to you. At the end of our broadcast, we will be airing the Pendale Honors Band, along with pictures from the Valentine's Dance and video from the ninth grade girls basketball game. Don't forget, you are super. <laughs> For all of us here in the studio, I'm Henry Strobel. And I'm Anissa Gardizi. Let's stick together and have a fantastic day. <laughs>